uh, today uh, you see uh, regarding your meeting with the uh, governor of Manipur, again chief minister of Manipur, also the state today president A.K. Sarda Devi. Uh, it is already viral in the social media. Now people want to know what exactly the meeting was. Is it a kind of support you are uh, giving to the BJP? Uh, you are joining BJP or is it unconditional support to BJP? I am not joining the BJP because I can't. Because I fought independent, I am an independent MLA. So I pledge my support to the Bharatiya Janta Party because this is my party. Unfortunately, I did not get the ticket and I had to contest independent because I had a huge team of people. My team, Team Nishikant, I don't call them workers. So Team Nishikant could not be betrayed. So I stood independent and I had told earlier because I have the BJP ideology in me which is na khaunga, na khane dunga and transparency and accountability. This is all the core of BJP. I mean, I'm talking about BJP, Modi ji wala BJP. So I contested as an independent and then I won and I'm now going back and I had said that before the day I did not get the ticket people were very angry and in places where some candidates who did not get the ticket they were burning BJP flags, tearing BJP flags I had said on that day and that video did go viral that please don't burn the flag, please don't burn uh, don't tear the flag because this is my party's flag and I'll come back after I win and that's exactly what's happening I have won and now I'm going back and pledging my support to the BJP so the letter was addressed to His Excellency the Governor so I was I met the Governor and then I gave my letter of support and a copy each had to be given to the party president and the Honorable Chief Minister so I went to the party president Madam Sarada ji and I gave that letter to her in person and after that when I got an appointment with the Honorable Chief Minister I did the same. Okay, so today you met with the Governor, Chief Minister and also the State Unit President A.K. Charda Devi. Is it from your own will or is it any kind of indication, any kind of suggestion from the centre leader BJP? No, no, it's, I had said this from before. It is my own thinking, my own feeling and my own desire as to follow my ideologies and principles. So I had to go back. That's exactly what happened. Okay, so my another question is, you see, people are expecting a lot from you, but very particularly the voters from Kaisantung Assembly constituency. Uh, can you assure that, that uh, be it in opposition, be it in ruling, could you assure that you are continue to carry the voice of voice led people? Absolutely, absolutely. You see, as an MLA, there is a limitation, but when you are in power, you have more, you have more power to do more things. But whatever I have said, the basic is that your core has to be clean, your intention has to be good and you have, I have come to serve the people 100% and I have not come to do business therefore like I said I don't know how to say it, put it in English but I said Ek paisa nahi khaunga, theka nahi karunga, theka se cut nahi lunga uske baad agar kabhi kabhi power na aaye to khair mantri to deta nahi hai ministers don't give jobs but fir bhi after that also I will not take a penny while you know allotting jobs or transfer this all these things will remain intact only thing is when you are in power, let's say you are a minister or somebody in power, you can serve better. But as an MLA also, I will give 100% that I guarantee you and my intent will remain 100% clean and top priority will be the people of Kesamtong as an MLA and if I come to power, then it will be the people of Manipur. Of, I mean, of course, Kesamtong begins, uh, like they say, charity begins at home. So, top priority, Manipur, top priority, Kesamtong. Okay. With video journalist, and this is Sarasandra reporting, but not this time, from Impala.